Hi there, beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be preparing up my budget book for the month of October as it is fast approaching upon us. So I need to get my stickers on there. I need to get my budget prep so that I am fully prepared for the month of October. So I appreciate you being here. Click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and like the video. Let's go. Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope that those in the southern parts of the states are doing okay with the hurricane coming and or probably at this point already landed. So I hope that everybody is staying safe and um, my thoughts and my prayers are with you all. Before we get into this video fully, I do want to go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter, so I'll ask and answer the question on this card in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. Just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is... What was something you thought would be easy until you tried it? Oh, there's been like many, many occasions where I'm like, oh, I got this. It's easy. Try to open that jar and it's just not happening. <laughs> that That's an easy one right there. I There's been lots of things where I think mentally I can do it, but then when I try to do it, it's not, it's not uh, as easy as I thought it would be. One time I thought I could clean my whole house and one day I was like, oh, I can get this whole house clean top to bottom in just a few hours. Yeah, no, it's days. It's days. <laughs> and it's a lot of hard work and sweat to do all of that. So what about you guys? What was something you thought would be easy until you tried it? All right, this is my favorite part of this video is when I get to finally unwrap these stickers that I got from Miss Casey Lee. So as you can see, this is November stickers and I know that there's a receipt on the bottom here that's got my address and everything. I don't want that exposed, so I'll just take this out. And now I'll just go ahead and pull out all of these stickers and I'll show you guys what I got. Ooh, this is cute. I don't remember ordering this. I feel like this might be just a freebie. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. So we've got some more payday, more vacation. Casey, are you telling me I need to go on another vacation? Because I will. Don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> and these are just the little freebies that came with. And I'm assuming that this is a freebie. I don't recall purchasing this or even seeing this on her website. So this may have been a freebie. And I love this. I can totally decorate up with these, especially since they match. Oh, so cute. So let me show you guys what I got. I like to show you all the stickers that I bought um, just so that you can get an idea of what I use to accomplish what you see um, in my budget book. So here is the monthly spread. It is super cute. It looks very fall, very October, very Halloween, but at the same time, very classy. I like it. Um, so, yes, this will be on the first page. That This will be the continuation on the second page. It's going to look super cute. I absolutely love this design. I love all of her designs, let's be real. So I did get a transaction log. This is what I use for my WTF Wednesday overview. I did get three sinking funds, like usual, so that I can do my end of the month sinking funds update. I did my October budget, so I can see the October budget as an overview. I did paycheck one and two and three. And then I did the weekly check-ins. This is five, one, two, three, four, five. I mainly get these for the headers. And then I do use one sheet for my transaction log. And then I do cut these right here. So I'll have category and spent for my WTF Wednesday. All the other ones I don't use, but just the header and these um, footers, if you will. So we got 
what five of those one two three four five yeah five of those then I got the extras of course this is what I used to write my bills down um, you've got some paydays here yeah and some footers of course this is extras for the calendar so you've got your little sidebar you've got these that match the actual boxes of the calendar perfectly if you have something special that you want to highlight and then you've got some smaller ones and then of course another thicker washi then I did purchase myself some more no spin stickers because we are getting pretty low and then um, I did get all of her extras because that's just me I can use these in various different ways cutting them and making them mine here's the extras that I use in my WTF Wednesday so I cut these because this is just one solid strip it's like a check mark check off thing a to-do list but I cut them sideways this way so that I have squares for my WTF checkbox and then you've got of course some extras here I think these look are they bigger let me see Ooh, they are so I might end up using these because they're bigger I didn't realize they were they're just a, a tad bit bigger and then you've got these I use these um, in my WTF Wednesdays and then you've got just some extra things here that you can decorate up your stuff with this is the daily duo kit so um, I know some of you have asked about how I am able to get a whole week worth of um, you know for my WTF Wednesday in one page and this is how I do it I buy her daily duo kit I don't have a daily duo um, it is for the A5 and I assume that the daily duo has this for one page and then each page has its own so these are the headers for that but what I do is I buy five weeks worth or four depending on the month and then I cut them um, with a, an exacto knife I cut them to the length I need them to be and then I use them in my WTF Wednesday to make all of this fit on one page so that would be a week that would be a week and so on so you'll see me do that in this video and then this is another little extra so these boxes I use these on my um, dashboard and stuff like that so so now you've seen all the stickers that I have bought. I basically buy just about every single thing that she does for her monthly kit. Um, I don't know. I just, because I just am weird. <laughs> I want them all. I don't want to not get it and then regret it. <laughs> and if I don't use it, then maybe I can use it later. Eventually I save all the stickers that I don't end up using. Um, so yeah, let me show you some other stickers that I do use. I have this Planner Kate organization book for stickers and as you can see I have quite a bit and this is where I have stuck all of the months prior to of Casey's stickers just in case I can go back and find something that is a color that I needed or just a little extra which I've had to do a couple of times and then I do have just other stickers of course and then I also have and these this I shouldn't have put this in here because there was still stickers in there. But I also have um, my own stickers that I cut, so I'm gonna grab those out. I don't have a Cricut that can print and cut, so what I do is I print the stickers on sticker paper and then I use my X-Acto knife and I just cut them the way that I want them to look with a ruler pretty simple it is a little time consuming whereas a Cricut would have been way more um, efficient in that but I'm trying to not spend too too much money so yeah I have just random stickers everywhere I think there are some stickers that I'm going to need from here I think do I use these probably not no all right I'm gonna put that back so I used to use these for my payday, but I do have Planner Kate stickers in here as well. As you can see, this is where I put all my little freebies at. So I'll go ahead and add the two little freebies that she gave me this time to here. These have come in clutch too when I've needed something that I didn't have. And the other thing that I use 
is these hip digi chicks I've got the monthly quote the goals and this month and this is what I've been using on my dashboard Miss Casey Lee said she could make me some also that would be a little bit bigger because these aren't quite as large as I wanted them to be so I figured I would just be efficient use what I have here and then um, come to her when I just have that extra money I also use Casey Lee's um, monthly stickers as you can see we only have october november and december left oh my gosh i use that for my wtf wednesday and then these are the ones that i've printed out as you can tell and cut myself so we're going to be using this that these total bills my envelopes so this helps me figure out how much um, of each bill i need my other income sinking funds i think i have another yeah sinking funds and then no more sinking funds I have way too many sinking funds okay and then I've got total bills and I think that's the only things I have here I do also have sorry um, these are all of my envelopes that I have printed out twice for the two main paychecks so I've got one two three um, that I will use for my main paychecks so it just helps me to break down um, how much I need of each thing so that is that I also use Casey Lee's order groceries which I don't really order groceries now I go and do it in person as much as I don't like it but it's saving me money I've got my YouTube paycheck I got our modus paycheck yes I think we are good to go these are all the stickers pretty much that I'm gonna be using you might see me pull out a couple of extra um, just for decorative purposes or whatever but yeah these are the main ones that I'm going to be using so I will need to cut these and also cut the um, daily duos so that they're ready to go um, yeah so I have some cutting to do I'll do that all off camera so that we are not here forever I will be here forever you won't be here forever just to save some time for you but that's just basically it I just kind of wanted to go over that because I was asked by someone in comments how I got the look that I achieved and so I just wanted to kind of like give a quick overview of that but you will see it time lapse from this point on as I put all these stickers into my book and speaking of book, this is my budget book. So we are going to be working with October. And as you can see, it's cute enough. Like you wouldn't have to necessarily decorate it up, but I'm just extra that way. But the way that Erin Condren's book comes, keep in mind this is a seven by nine. So it's not like a big eight, eight and a half by 11 or anything like that. It's a seven by nine. And that's what I needed because the big ones just wouldn't fit on screen. <laughs> So I needed something smaller, more condensed, and the way that her books come is it comes in these pages, just like this. So you do have your dashboard here, but other than that, it is just blank pages. So for me, it's really cool to go and buy from Etsy shop owners who have made stickers that actually fit these specifically and then make each page exactly what I need it to be. And of course, I made my own stickers too to make it even more. So it'll look similar to this. Um, I like to do my September budget here. Um, I accidentally skipped this page, but this typically would be paycheck one. And this is how I use her stickers. And then my stickers, of course. And then paycheck two. And then paycheck three. And then I would have, um, this one had a paycheck four because there was three main paychecks for the month of September. And then we have um, the modus check and then of course YouTube. So with that being said, this is basically what it's going to look like just in the new theme. We're gonna keep going with that. I'm super excited, I really am. And then of course, I will be going back here to my notes section because when I ordered this Erin Condren, I ordered, I think it was like 80 extra pages, which they put back here in the notes section. As you can see, there's just tons and tons of pages here. So I needed a place to put my WTF Wednesday. I wanted that all together in my budget book. So, so that's what we've been doing since January. This is 
all year so far of every Wednesday going over what we'd spent in our account just to keep myself accountable. And then I do have enough to do the rest of the year, of course. And then I started sinking funds here. So my WTF Wednesday should end on either this page or this page, I think. That's how many we have left of the year. And then I started sinking funds on this page for the months that had um, five weeks or, or three full-time paychecks because I just didn't have enough space in my month section. So that's April and September. Obviously, we haven't done September yet, but that's coming. And then back here, I also have my quarter check-in, which we'll do very soon. I have my debts, how much I owe left on my mortgage, left on our truck. And then I want to check it at the end of the year to see how much, you know, it is and then how much we had managed to pay throughout the year. Then I have my sinking funds goals, the things that I wanted to save for, which we managed to do vacation. I'm not sure how Christmas is going to look. Um... And these are, I'm doing $20 a paycheck so that I can get an extra $500 for the year. This is how much that um, I'm doing for mine to have $350 for my birthday. And then obviously, like you see everything, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> and this is, also I got these from Casey Lee. It's a bill tracker. It's just one super large sticker. Well, actually two for all the months and then I'm writing all my bills as they come out with their exact amounts so that I can see that bottom number and make sure that I am saving enough for each month. And then I've got my 2022 goals. My first goal was 2,000 subs and we reached that on 3-14-22. My next goal I put was 2,500 which we reached so I need to go ahead and put that date on there and make a new goal. So, yeah, and I want to be two full months ahead. Not sure if I'm going to get there, but I am trying my best. And then I would love to see a $300 YouTube paycheck. Um, again, not sure if that is going to happen. We'll see. <laughs> and then, of course, hers came with a bunch of other things like these stickers, which I've never used. Should, but never have used. I also bought this dashboard right here just to have, which I've only used like once, I think. And then it comes with these little flaps. Okay, I've done enough talking. I think that it's time to do my October budget. So the rest of this video is going to be time-lapse. Enjoy, I'll put some music on for you. And then at the end, we'll come and do a little walkthrough and show you how the end result looks. Enjoy.
and we're done. So let me just do a little quick walkthrough with you guys so you can see um, what I've done. This is the monthly spread. I have all my bills written out for when they come out. Everything is on auto pay. So this just helps me know, okay, these things are supposed to come out this time. Then I have all the videos, just a basic general plan for those. Um, yeah, and then I have any appointments that we have written down. I didn't know the time. I have to go look and see what time it is, and then I'll write that down. And then, what else? Oh, Hubby's Festival. He has two weekends of festivals this month. Um, ordering groceries or paydays. Yeah, that's about it. So it's just everything I need to see in one overview, and I like it that way. I didn't fill out anything else, so I'm just going to do that off camera for myself. But this is October budget. This will be the income we expect to come in for this month and the expenses we expect, which to me are groceries, gas, um, allowances, and our like all of our allowances. So kids and hubby and mine. And um, I think that's all I usually count towards it. Wallet spending, gas, groceries, oh, bills, allowances, and miscellaneous. So that's what I usually count as expenses, and then the rest is what would go into sinking funds. Um, I didn't fill out any of this yet, so I'll just do that off camera, of course, but it's just like a little dashboard. I don't really use it that much, but I do like to doodle in it sometimes and just play around with things. So I'll probably do that. And then you've got paycheck one. Again, this is Casey Lee stickers, and these are the, my stickers that I made. So this is all of my sinking funds right here for me so that I can plan out each paycheck as it comes. Paycheck one and paycheck two. And then we have paycheck three, which is our modus, which is usually a, a bit smaller, so I don't put the whole sinking funds thing on there. And I just put what I'm going to stuff here, and if I need a little extra, then I'll just grab a piece of paper or something. Other income, these are for side hustles, so like YouTube, and then of course, Hubby has a festival that for two weekends this month, so that'll be in here as well. Then I've got my transaction log. This is where I just bring everything from WTF Wednesday and put it here in one space, and I just realized this is missing some lines. Let's fix that really quick since I'm here. But it's relatively simple. I love doing this just because it's um, cathartic in a way for me. I just zone out, put a show on or put some music on and just go to town on some stickers. Then we've got three pages of sinking funds. That'll be at the end of the month. And then when I flip, flip back to my WTF Wednesday, um, I have them all here. I'll just show you this one. It looks super cute, and I hope that you caught how I did it. I just cut them to the size that I wanted and then placed them here. So what I did is I measured the top of the weekly check-in and then divided that in half and um, cut these accordingly to that and then same for these. So I just kind of made it my own, which is what I usually do every single week, every single month, and I love it. I think it looks really, really cute. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below, and don't forget, Casey Lee does have a code on her website for you guys. It's called Thriving15, and you get 15% off if you buy from her. Um, yeah, of all your future orders. I use it every single month, so I love it. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for this video. I, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got inspired. I hope that you are all ready for the month of October as well. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be Friday, and chances are this one actually might be posted on a Friday, just because I know how long this took me, and I have to still go edit, and it is currently Thursday night, so I'm probably going to post two videos on Friday, one um, being this video and then the other being our cash stuffing video. Um, so I might have two videos for you today, Friday, or I might post it on Saturday. I don't know. We'll see.
What do you guys want? Do you want to see another one today? Let me know in the comments below. But as always, until next time, bye.